and Christian Horner is working trying to tie his technicians so that there are no possible leaks. Maximum alert at Red Bull. Christian Horner is taking drastic measures to retain his geniuses. With Adrian Newey's future uncertain, the team is preparing for a battle for its key talents. Find out about Horner's strategic moves and discover who are the team's pillars that could be at risk of leaving. Don't miss this exclusive reveal. Christian Horner is moving fast to prevent Adrian Newey's departure, although unconfirmed it seems assumed, from leaving the team in tatters. The step taken by the team's main team is to ensure the level of the technical staff and to armor the two key men, Pierre Wache and Enrico Balbo. Wache is well known to the fans, Nui's right-hand man, the man who in practice runs the day-to-day -day technical side of the team and is in charge of implementing Nui's directives. Balbo is less well known, but no less important. He is the director of aerodynamics, the one in charge of bringing Adrian's intuitions to reality and making them work. Losing one of the great pillars of the team is serious, but you can't afford to lose the pillars that strengthen the pillar. But Horner has been preparing for some time, possibly since the problems with the Renault engine caused Nui to lose interest in the day-to-day -day and combine Formula One with other projects, and at times, he has been content to be, in practice, a supervisor or advisor. In short, Horner will have activated the protocol that he had been thinking about for some time. Among other things, because it is not only a question of avoiding the collapse of the team, but also of preventing Nui and some of the technical pillars from going over on block to the enemy. All this when we are facing a change of rules foreseen for 2026 that is announced as radical and with the added aggravating factor that they will release their own engine. The team assures that the contracts of the men who would be key for the future of the team are armored. Within what can be expected, Nui also has a valid contract. But if someone does not want to work for you, it is very difficult to retain him to do so. Retaining Adrian seems impossible. The Wind Tamer already knows what this is like from when he wanted to sign with Jaguar and McLaren enforced a contract. When he decided to move to Red Bull, McLaren could no longer object. Checo Perez talks about his future at Red Bull. In the midst of intense negotiations, the Mexican driver finally breaks his silence and makes a shocking statement. I'll be here! What does this mean for his future with the team? Find out all the details of this revelation that shakes the racing world here. Sergio Checo Perez finishes his contract with Red Bull at the end of the season, so he is already in talks to extend his stay at the Austrian team and even already gave details, although his future remains unresolved. A few days ago, Red Bull's advisor, Helmut Marko, indicated that Checo Perez was looking for a three-year contract. However, the Austrian team is not willing to give it to him. Checo Perez has been adamant and has made clear his intention to remain in Formula One, despite Red Bull not giving him a new contract. Absolutely, 100%, I am totally committed, Checo Perez explained to the media ahead of the Miami Grand Prix, which will be contested this weekend. At the end of the day, I've been in this sport for a long time, but I'm only 34 years old, and when you see drivers go on, we see longer races these days, so I'm still very fresh and very motivated. I have no doubt 100% that I will be here next year, he added. He further added, With the team, it's all about the future, how we both see the future together. Obviously, if you, as a team and driver, have the same goal in mind, it's very easy, especially after so many years. We've been together for four years, so I hope everything will be quite easy in the future. Checo Perez does not know if he will get the renewal with Red Bull. However, he already knows the date that will define his future within Formula One for next season. It's my 14th season in Formula One. Whatever happens next, I'm very satisfied with what I've done in this sport so far and I think it's a matter of time. Obviously, the driver market is moving and in the next few weeks there will surely be a lot of movement. So, I hope that in a month's time, I will really know what I will be doing next year," said Checo Perez. The contract between Checo Perez and Red Bull ends this season 2024, so the Mexican driver's seat has become one of the most sought after. 
Will Checo Perez renew with Red Bull for next season? It has been revealed that there is a strong condition for the Mexican driver to renew with Red Bull, as the team's advisor, Helmut Marco, surprised everyone with some statements in which he is open to renew the Mexican driver. Helmut Marco has assured that if Checo Perez shines in his season, he will remain as a Red Bull driver. If Checo has a good season, it is very possible that the lineup in 2025 will also consist of Verstappen and Perez. He proclaimed in Sport dot to dot recall that a couple of weeks ago, Red Bull boss Christian Horner acknowledged that the future of Checo Perez is in his hands. We're in a luxury position where there are lots and lots of people who want to sit in that car. We just have to see what's best for the team, which is now Checo, Horner mentioned. It's Checo's seat, and only he will lose it. He's the incumbent in that seat, and a lot will depend on how he does next season. Scandal in the world of Formula One! Audi offers a millionaire contract to Carlos Sainz. Find out how the firm of the Four Rings is willing to break the market with an exorbitant salary, surpassing even the one offered to Nico Hülkenberg. Will they accept the terms? Find out all the details here. Several sources claim that Audi is putting a lot of pressure on the driver market, as it is in quite a hurry to close its lineup for 2025 and, above all, 2026, at which time the Sauber team will become the official structure of the German brand. And this is confirmed by the facts, because with the month of April still to end, they have already closed the recruitment of their first driver, Nico Hülkenberg. The 36-year-old German has always had a good reputation in Formula One, but that did not prevent him from having to spend three seasons on the bench. He has a very good offer from Audi for three years, but he has to make a decision relatively soon. In 2023, Nico Hülkenberg returned to the starting lineup with Haas, and his good performance has finally earned him access to the contract of a lifetime three seasons as an official Audi driver, Carlos Sainz, Audi's priority target. However, Nico Hülkenberg was not the first choice for Andreas Seidel, CEO of Sauber and in charge of shaping the Audi project. The German engineer knows Carlos Sainz well, as he had him under his orders at McLaren, and is very clear that it is the Spaniard who should be the leader of the new project. However, Sauber's poor form and a more than likely year 2025 at the bottom of the grid are making the Spaniard doubt. While Carlos Sainz is trying his best with Mercedes and Red Bull, Audi is presenting its cards. And these are similar to those accepted by Nico Hülkenberg. 